guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be reviewing the Jasmine Chiswell collaboration with Colourpop Cosmetics. I think this collection is just so beautiful and gorgeous and timeless. I think it suits her image and her style perfectly. So I got everything in PR today. I'm dressed up for the part as well. Very old Hollywood, which I absolutely love and adore. So with that being said, if you guys are curious about the collection and my thoughts on it then please continue watching so I'm gonna keep my review quite short and focus more on the looks and showcasing the products just because this is a collab and all of the products there's no new formula here and I think overall it does suit the concept it suits Jasmine's image and aesthetic and style um, everything is super pretty so I'm just gonna give my quick overall thoughts and just break down the collection for you so to start off in the collection we do have two five pan eyeshadow palettes that go for 12 USD. The palette that I'm currently using is called Hello Hollywood which is in the pink packaging and this is an all matte eyeshadow palette. Some of the mattes do have little shimmers throughout them but I would say for the most part it is all completely matte and it's a pretty neutral palette with a pop of blue there that so you can match really well with the other five pan which is called Such a Starlet. This one does have two metallics and three mattes and you you could mix and match those pinks and blues together or you could just use this pink palette on its own it's super pretty even in the mattes there are some shimmers in there as well so it's a super glittery kind of collection you'll see a lot of sparkles throughout it and then next up we have three lip duo sets so each set is 16 US dollars and it comes with a cream luxe lipstick and a lippy pencil so the first lip kit is called hello angel and it comes with the it girl cream and luxe lipstick and the Formosa Cafe Lippy Pencil. This one is more of that wearable everyday kind of color. It's like a rosy nude. I absolutely love this shade and I will say that the Lippy Pencil definitely matches the lipstick quite well. And then we have the So Dangerous Lip Kit. It comes with the So Iconic Cream Luxe Lipstick and the Oh My Lippy Pencil. So this one is the Bright Fuchsia Barbie Pink. The most bold, the one one that I feel like I can't really pull off too well but it is a really beautiful Barbie pink and again it matches the collection perfectly and then lastly we have the lip kit called Old Flame which has the six appeal cream luxe lipstick and the Beverly Bungalow lippy pencil and that is the one I'm currently wearing it's the classic red so the lippy pencil definitely is a little bit darker than the lipstick and the lipstick is not like a true blue red I would say it has a bit of an orange undertone which makes it more of a warm red but it's still very beautiful and I feel like if she did not have a red in this collection this collection would not make sense so this red is just a perfect and then lastly in the collection we have two luxe glosses these are 10 US dollars each. The first shade is called Platinum Blonde, which is more of an everyday pinky mauve gloss. These two glosses do have more opaqueness to them, so if you want to wear them on its own, you definitely can, because it will cover up your natural lip color. There's lots and lots of glitters in there, lots of silver glitters, which is very, very pretty, and I really do like the shade of this gloss. I can see myself wearing this as an everyday gloss. And then we have Glamour Shot, which is the red gloss and it's not as intimidating as it looks in the packaging because once you apply it you have a really nice reddish tint which is something that I love. I love a red gloss after discovering my Tower 28 Spicy Gloss so this one is definitely up my alley. It has a lot of glitter in there as well that you do see sparkle through on the lips. So that was pretty much the entire collection and my quick rundown on everything. I think overall everything fits perfectly to Jasmine's style and the old Hollywood theme of this collection. Everything is super, super pretty and I can see it all worn on her. So I really do have no complaints. If anything, of course, this is a pretty neutral and traditional and classic kind of 
collection so the shades you are getting you definitely could easily dupe within your collection already uh, nothing you know really stands out but I think for the theme and the concept everything matches perfectly and I think they did an amazing job on this it's definitely been a while since we've seen an influencer collab from Colourpop so it's amazing to see that still doing it so a big congratulations to Jasmine on this collection it is just super super cute and so her but with that being said I do have two looks for you guys one look using each of the palettes so with that being said let's go ahead and hop right into those looks So for the first look, we'll be using the Such a Starlet eyeshadow palette. I'm first going to start off with the shade Allure as my transition, as my base. So I'm just going to use windshield wiping motions, getting that blended into my crease, blending that up towards my brow bone, also towards the outer corners. This does have a matte base, but you do see those little gold reflex shimmer through when you apply this to your eyes, which is actually quite nice because typically with this kind of formula from Colourpop, Sometimes those little glitters do not peep through once it hits your eyes But I'm glad to see it on the eyes here because I think it's super super pretty So I'm also going to take a bit of Allure and a Classic which is more of like a cooler tone pink And I'm going to mix these two shades and sweep that all over my lower lash line Just for a little bit of dimension there Then I'm going into the shade Noir And I'm going to focus this at the outer corners of my eyes Just stamping it on there and then slowly blending that out But mainly just targeting that outer region. This also has a matte base with gold reflex in there as well. I will say for this one, it does translate a little bit more matte compared to Allure, the pink transition shadow that we use. So that is very nice to just deepen out the outer corners. It's more of like a plum brown, which I think complements those pinky tones. But I love mixing brown and pink together. It just reminds me of Neapolitan, the ice cream. So I'm going to take that onto my lower lash line as well, but I'm going to take it on a defining brush and just press that at the outer third here. Then going into the shade Sultry, I'm going to focus this at the inner third of my eye, so contrast to the darker outer corners. And I'm pretty much just going to stamp that on and then slowly tap that out to get that diffused into the crease because I want this to look blown out, no harsh lines, no cut crease, no nothing, just all seamless and sultry like the shade name says. And then slowly I will bring that into my inner corners using a smaller brush and then also onto my lower lash line again at the inner third there to really highlight that inner third region and again having that contrast. And then taking the final shade in the palette called Showgirl. I'm going to take a little bit of this on a dome shaped brush and I'm just going to press that in at the center of my eyes, kind of where the shimmer meets the darker outer corners. This is going to help blend those colors in together a little bit more seamlessly and it's also going to reinforce a little bit more pink in here since this is a hot pink shade. So I also take a little bit of that onto my lower lash line as well, just at the center tapping it in. But here is the first look completed using the Such a Starlet eyeshadow palette. For my lip pairing, I did go with the Hello Angel Lip Duo Kit, which has the Formosa Cafe Lippy Pencil and the It Girl Cream Luxe Lipstick. I thought this pairing was a really nice one with this pink eye look where it didn't overpower the pink in our eyes, so I thought that was a nice combo. But I really love how this look turned out. Again, I love the combo of pink and brown. Something about that to me is just so warm. Also, I am not wearing false lashes, guys. So probably in my future videos for the next month or so, um, I'm probably not gonna be wearing a lot of lashes in my looks because I did get a lash lift. That's why my lashes look so curled because I could never curl my lashes like this, to be honest. So let me know what you think, how I look without lashes because honestly, I, I feel like I look so different. And So 
now moving into the second look using the Hello Hollywood palette. I'm first starting off with the shade Bombshell. This is going straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions. I feel like this is the perfect cool tone transition for this old Hollywood look that we're going to be doing. Something that Jasmine does very often. So I'm just going to take that straight into my crease using windshield wiping motions. Getting that blended up towards my brow bone and then we'll also take that onto our lower lash line as well. I am taking the shade Golden Girl on a fluffy brush just to blend out the outer edges to make sure everything is nicely blended out. Now I'm going into the shade Picture Show and I'm going to do exactly the same thing just taking that into my crease using windshield wiping motions but I am taking it on a smaller brush just to get it a little bit more defined into our crease and then once again taking that onto our lower lash line. I'm only using a little bit of the shadow as you can see it is a very dark brown so I only need a little bit for a little bit of depth. Now I'm going into the shade Silver Screen and I'm going to pack that onto my lids not passing my crease. So if you want it to be a little bit more precise you could definitely go in with concealer and cut out your crease and then put this on top but I think because this is such a stark matte white it kind of cuts the crease out on its own. So I'm just going to place that all over my lid and then going along the natural curve of my eye to create a very soft cut crease. Then I'm going in with a matte black eyeshadow. I'm going to use this to create my wing. You could use a liquid liner. That's totally fine. But I think to add to the softness of the look, I'm just going in with an eyeshadow. And then lastly, to complete the look, I'm taking a white eyeliner into my bottom waterline to really open up our eyes. And here we have the second look completed using the Hello Hollywood palette. Of course, for a collection like this, I had to create an old Hollywood type of look. It just fits perfectly with this collection, with Jasmine's style and aesthetic. So this is my sort of take on it. With the red lip and the classic eye look, this is just a classic old Hollywood look. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this second look as well. Alright guys, so those were my two looks. What do you guys think? Which one did you prefer? Something a little bit more fun, pink and girly? Or something a little bit more classic and timeless? Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know your thoughts on this collection. Did you guys pick it up? Are you going to pick it up? I would love to know down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I love you so much and I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Bye!